Welcome to another shop walk here at Iconic Motorbikes. It is Tuesday, November 5th, and we are starting over here with Mr. Kawasaki. I'm actually sitting down for the first time ever. I know, what is this? <laughs> uh, and as usual, Mr. Kawasaki has two Ducatis in his bay. This one, uh, this is a bummer. Right, we've talked about that a few times, so I'm not gonna really spend time on it. This, this one's one runs already though. It Can runs, everything's ready, we just need to weld something, and then I can wrap it up and it's going back to the owner. I like that, good man, there you go. This one, uh, this is an unfortunate story. We shared this in the shop walk, I don't know, last week. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's only got, like 40 miles. Thank you, yeah, it's 40 <laughs> miles on it. Ducati V4 SB2, yeah. someone acquired it and then unfortunately uh, crashed on it. And yeah. so, uh, so Angel's now, so what are you doing? Like, I'm gonna walk towards so you so right people can now, hear you, but uh, so what are you right doing? Now, here, let me stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? Right, so yeah, right now we're, uh, we're doing a crash estimate. So I'm literally visually looking at everything that looks pretty much dinged up and writing it down for, um, for the insurance companies and all that stuff. So uh, just literally trying to see everything that I know that's Oh wrong. wait, I found something that's broken. Yeah. There so you go. That's, that one. I'm a really good technician. It's kind of bad. It's very bad. And, this yeah, is, and unfortunately, bad. I think a lot of times we, you know, we have clients that come in and they're like, hey, we need to do a crash estimate. And they yeah. don't realize how much time it takes to properly, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it, it takes hours to yeah, go through this and go like, this is fine. This yeah. isn't fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, stuff like this. Yeah. That's obvious. Yeah. Uh, but so there's you, like little things but, as like if you yeah, come go over ahead. here, like check this out really quick. Like if you come here, I don't know if you can see it with the camera. Hold on, I gotta get close to him with the mic, hold on. <laughs> yeah, if you can't see okay. it with the camera, the triple tree is actually kind of broken inside of there. I don't know if you can see in there. But little things like that that most people won't catch, since I have so many experiences with crash instruments when I used to work at Beverly Hills Ducati, yeah. you learn what breaks yeah. on the bikes when they crash. Yeah. So uh, luckily, uh, yeah, I'm already been going through it and finding everything that is kind of broken that you kind of can't see, but from experience, we we kind of know already, you know? So yeah, it's pretty bad. It's a bummer. And uh, most likely, I'm hoping it doesn't get total loss, but most likely it's- No, based on what I've seen already on that side, yeah, it's probably it's gonna get- loss. Yeah, it's Yeah, because uh, it looked like the crank could have taken some damage from the impact. Wow. Yeah, because that's attached to the crank. And, Got it. And it's bent. And so, and we don't okay. know if the engine stopped, it was in gear, we don't know, no history. Right. So, for us to figure out exactly what's wrong, uh, we would have to kind of- Yeah, take the motor apart. Uh, yeah, not, not the motor completely or, apart, but do more work on the motor, like okay. put a, a um, dial indicator and check the mm. crank to see got if it, it's all it. wobbly or not. So yeah, but it's just more time, more work, and we have to get the approval for stuff like that, so yeah. Well, there you go. So unfortunately, potentially a sad demise. Okay, I just got it. This has nothing to do with what Angel was talking about, but yeah. this is these are the smallest turd wheels <laughs> I think I've ever seen in my life. What? That is insane yeah, to and me. And this is for the V4 from Rizoma? Yeah. So yeah, it's, I mean, you could probably oh put them on God. other things, but it's... I mean, like my look at it's like my it's a finger. It's smaller than my fingernail. Yeah. My but pinky finger. That's crazy. Super, they better be for yeah, that size. Bright. All right, thank you. Nice work. Yeah. All right, so we'll keep you posted on what happens there. Uh, working our way down. Unfortunately, uh, we had a couple of dozen Sadiches we were going to do a video on, but we got rained out. So maybe that'll happen in the near future. Uh, over here, we've got a couple of bikes on Yanni's lift. Uh, we got this BMW R. Is this 1100 or 1150? It looks like an 1100 to me but I can't be 100% sure. Uh, this came to us from a client, uh, but there's a, I mean, as, here's one example. I mean, there's no bolt uh, from the frame into the motor, which it should be. It's currently got a zip tie, which is very effective. Uh, so obviously this is gonna need a lot of work. Uh, on that, we'll see what the owner wants to do. This is a cool one. This is a Kawasaki, uh, basically an Ninja 600. And I don't know why I said basically, it is a Ninja 600. This one came to us a couple of years ago, I think back in 2021 or so. Steve did a really nice restoration on it. It's a beautiful example. It has just 1,300, yeah, there we go. 1,352 miles on it. It's got the Vance and Heinz exhaust. Uh, it's coming to us for an inspection, although clearly Yanni is doing a little bit more, but you expect to see this up on our auction site uh, pretty soon. We may also talk to the seller about this because Adam and I are gonna go to Radwood this weekend down in San Pedro, I think is where it's at. Really cool show, focused on 80s and 90s motorcycles. Last year we could not make it, but one of our buddies, Jay, 
uh, rode one of our uh, Honda NR750s down. Uh, he rode it down there and he won raddest motorcycle, which is really cool. So, uh, so yeah, we might take, you know, you can see the license plate here, Top Gun 84. Of course, the Top Gun bikes, uh, not bikes, I should say, but top, the Top Gun bike singular was a 900. But uh, yeah, that's a really, really nice example of a low mileage 600. And uh, that'll be up on our auction site fairly soon. All over here is filling up a tire, but more importantly, this is Adam's bike, um, his, 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 well, his old bike, his uh, RSV4 factory. Uh, we sold it on the auction site. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of an oil leak we missed, so our, uh, our fault on that one, we apologize to the owner. He mentioned it and you know, we wanna make sure we made it right. So uh, Corey, our, Corey runs our transportation here. He went out to uh, pick the bike up and, uh, and now it's back. And uh, so all he's got it fixed up. We're gonna do a test ride on it, make sure everything's all right. But uh, yeah, it was, it was seeping some, I think oil from this cover, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get that uh, sorted before it goes to the new owner. All right, watch your feet, sir. And then we're gonna make our way to the professor. Thank you, Ollie. Or oh, sorry, thank you, champion. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I didn't even, God, I'm spacing out here. Uh, we didn't even talk about the Kawasaki. Is, have, have you started with this yet? Inspection yet. Oh, okay, perfect. So this is the one, we've shared this in a previous episode of the Shop Block. This is the crazy one that Kerry Andrew did at stage, as he calls it a stage three, uh, superbike motor build on it, lots of cool parts. So yeah, all he's done an inspection on it. Uh, we'll let the seller know what's going on. The seller's actually in France uh, at, the, at the moment. He's kind of, he's moving there, which is why he's uh, selling this bike. So uh, we'll let the seller know what all his condition report says, and then he'll decide what he wants to do, what he doesn't want to do, and then we'll list the bike. So thank you, Ollie, on that. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I am, well, it depends on what you're about to tell me. This is a uh, cool Suzuki GS, what, a 550 ES. Mm -hmm. There you go, it's got the full floater suspension. There should be a decal somewhere here uh, stating that. Just 3,000 miles. No kidding, 3,130. Yeah, here, hit the, hit the start button. Oh. Oh, look at that. Stock pipe on it. Right now, so oh, there you go. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So uh, we'll let it idle here. I'm not going to rev it out because, like Steve said, I don't know if you heard it, but it's missing the airbox at the moment. But uh, yeah, pretty clean. You don't see these. I, I haven't no. seen one of these in a long I, I time. Seen one of these since they were new. <laughs> well, there you go. It's clean is pretty surprising. Yeah. So it's a nice example. Of course, you got the square headlight on these. Just definitely a, a very period 80s bike. Does the horn work? Hey, there you go. Gotta have, the horn. <laughs> Gotta have the horn. So that's that's pretty cool. I mean, this will this is also going to go up on our auction site. There you go. Who needs the airbox as long as you're uh, gentle on the? Yeah. <laughs> as long as you don't take it over three grand. Yeah, there you go. But uh, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, cool little Suzuki here, and uh, one of the many bikes will be going up on our auction site pretty soon. As always, thank you, Professor. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'll see you on the next one.